Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today I had a special request from Leslie to make a peace sign pendant using the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. We are using 18 gauge wire, the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. You'll need the plugs, you'll need your tools, and a ruler. I'll link up the template in the description below. And don't forget to put the little plug bags on the back of your pegs. I'll also link up a tutorial on how you can make your own plugs or purchase them in my Etsy DIY shop. We'll start with 18 inches of 18 gauge wire and we'll start at the base of the first finger and bring the wire around the pegs. This is the design with the fingernail. I will show you a simpler design later in the video. So we're just going to keep following the pattern. And like I said, the template is available in the description below. And it will show you the line drawing on how to follow the form around the pegs. So we're going to keep going slowly, pushing the wire against the pegs to keep it in place. You don't want to push the wire right to the base of the jig or it's going to be difficult to get it off and difficult to put it around the shapes. So just wind the wire around sort of near the top of the pegs and holding it down at the same time so it won't flip off. So now once we've done those fingers, we're going to work our way down to the palm and bring it right around to the base of the hand and then straight across. And this is where we're going to grab a nail because there aren't any really tiny pegs. So I like to use a nail to make some sharper bends and we're going to bend it up on an angle and form the heart. So we'll bring the wire down around the first hump remove the nail and put it back in the jig to make what I like to call my Mimi hearts. So we're just going to do a little loop there, bring it around to this second peg and form the other half of the heart. So bring it right around. And once you have formed the heart, we're going to put the nail back and bring the wire straight across to the other side of the hand. Now we'll bring it up and form the thumb. So bring it around the pegs that will form the nail of the thumb. At that point, you could remove the nail and we're gonna bring the wire around, loop it a full turn around and back down. So we have our thumbnail and the rest of the thumb. So now we're gonna bend the wire up and then we want to bend it out at an angle at the base of the finger. So we're just going to bring it over that peg and out at an angle and then form the finger and then back up and around. So now we have our basic shape of the hand in the peace sign and we are going to remove it from the jig and I'm just going to press the heart down a little bit and adjust it so it's nice and symmetrical. Just pressing it down a bit and then we want to bend the wire up at the center of the finger. So it's straight up and that will connect there and I like to help out the bend on the wire with my pliers making a little hook so it will be centered at the top, hook it in place and then from there, we'll get our flat pliers, or you can use your um, plastic nylon jaw pliers, and we are going to hold it and tug the little wire there. And at that point, you can clip the edge off. So now we want to do the loop, bring it over, and the wire is going to come around the opposite direction and we'll twist it around and the wires will finish at the back. So now we'll hold the loop with our flat pliers and bring that wire a couple of times. So now we could cut it flush with our flush cutters and pinch any 
pokey ends in there. And now we could do any adjustments that you need by hand. You could even hammer it a bit if you want. And you can go in with your pliers to make final adjustments. So there's our first design for the peace sign. And then for the second one, I needed some more of the second smallest size pegs. So I got another little pack of pegs from Beetalon and I replaced some of the small pegs with the second smallest peg just to make them a little larger. And then at the top, I wanted the fingers to be wider. So I put one of the smallest pegs and added a crow bead on top. I like to use the crow beads with the jig because it makes for a slightly larger size circle that doesn't come in the kit. So we're going to put our plugs on the back and there's our formation for the simpler hand. And for this one, we're starting about an inch and a half from the bottom and we are going to just simply loop it around. That's the thumb and we're not doing the nails this time. We're just doing a very simplified version of the hand. So we'll start with the thumb and then we're going to do the pointer finger, bend it up and do the middle finger, bring it down. And then now we're going to form the fingers that are pointing down. So that's the ring finger and straight up, not bothering with the fingernail. We're just keeping it very simple and you can do this freehand as well. I will link up another design in the with the templates for just a free form one that's a little bit larger. So we're going to bring this one straight down and across. So that's our basic hand shape. Very simple. Bring the wires across on either side and then you can remove it from the jig. From here we're going to bend the wire straight out. We want it to be at a right angle going towards the front there. You could sharpen up that bend a little bit and then we're going to get the round pliers just to help that wire around the other side and clip it flush. Pinch down that little pokey end, hold the wire and push up the longer wire to form the heart. So now we're going to get our round pliers, bring it around for the top of the heart and then up with the smaller pliers, down with the larger round pliers. Just bring it around. We want to connect the wires there. So we'll cut it flush with our flush cutters and push that little end in so it's just sitting right in there. And now, of course, you can adjust them as you need. You can get your flat pliers in there to do any more little adjustments to straighten the wire out a little bit as you need. Just keep going with it. You can hammer it a little bit if you want. And there is your simpler peace sign hand. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.